previously. Oh or shit. Not. Ten. And so we go. Hello, friends. My name is Winter Knight, and welcome back to Bear With Me. Um, we lost a great friend last episode, so I think Amber is about ready to face the Red Man. So let's do this. I can't remember the first time we met. I was too young back then. You were always there for me, even before I could really appreciate it. And even though I don't remember it, I could always feel it. When you were with me, I always felt safe. Protected. What do I do now when life gets scary? Who do I go to when I'm sad? Who's going to sit with me on my bedroom floor and laugh at my attempts to draw a horse or listen to my bad jokes? Mom and dad have so much on their minds lately and I can't always run to them for every little thing. I could rely on you for that. I could. It was you who left, but a part of me went away with you as well. You were my shoulder to cry on when I was all sad and mopey. You were my support so I don't fall. And if I did, you were there to comfort me and to show me how I can do better. I was never lonely because you were there. You knew all my secrets, fears, hopes, and plans. You scolded me often when I would cross the line and you always gave me advice. You taught me so many things. And in a way, a lot of what I learned about life, I learned through you, with you. When we went on adventures together, those were some of my favorite days. I would always get you in so much trouble, but you didn't mind. You acted like you did, but you cared for me too much to hold it against me. You were my best friend, and I miss you so much already. I will cherish our time together, and I will always remember you. At least until we meet again. Let's do this. Wow, it's really big. No wonder you can see it from space. Mm -hmm. I have an umbrella. Can I use it? Someone might get hurt, like me. Ah. I, I have to get past that thing. There's a hole right here. Wait, if I keep going this way, will the screen move? Nope. I can't go anywhere else. That's wild. Yeah. When did you get a Swiss Army knife, though? Talk about unsafe. <clears throat> Let's go. Hey, CBG. Oh my god, you scared the living daylight out of me. Hey girl, where do you think you're going? You know where I'm going. I do. That's why I'm here. I hope you didn't come here to stop me. Listen girl, Ted was a dear friend of mine. I don't want to talk about it. I understand, but listen. This here, it's a suicide mission. I don't care anymore, B. I'm going to stop him once and for all. All those people that had suffered because I was afraid. If you go after him alone, it'll end up tragically. Were... were you there? I was caught up with Paper City's finest and I got there too late. It... it was heartbreaking seeing that. Ted was a great bear. He really was. I'll miss him so much. Don't let his death be in vain. Think this thing through. I... I have to do this. He's after me and I'm done hiding. 
Either he'll get me, or I'll get him. But in any case, it'll stop his reign of terror. I get it. It's just, maybe you don't have to do this alone, you know? I have to. Ted told me it's something I have to do on my own. Besides, you know you guys can't go through these woods. How do you know to come here? <laughs> I remembered you telling us you followed his footsteps back here to Sorrow Hills. Me and my big mouth, eh? CBG, thank you for everything. You really are the hero Paper City needs and deserves. Don't ever stop fighting for what you believe is right. I don't intend to, girl. I'm worried if something happens to you, there'll be no city for me to watch over anymore. Paper City has grown beyond me. I'm sure you guys will be fine. You don't sound too optimistic. Should I worry? Don't. Please. I'll be fine. Well then. I hope this isn't goodbye, little miss. Don't be silly. We'll see each other again. Godspeed, girl. Ted might be gone, but I'm sure he's gonna be with you all the way. Make him proud. Make us all proud. Bye, CBG. Till we meet again, Amber. All right. There seems to be something written on it. The ones who try to exit this forest, let butterflies, mushrooms, and fireflies be your guides? Old Lou visits the forest on Mondays. Take a right if the owner visits on Wednesdays. Lou takes care of the mushrooms. Do not turn if you see young Sue's little ones. Butterflies don't get taken care of on Mondays. I feel like I should take a picture of that. Why the riddle? Actually, okay, let's do it like this. There we go. All right. Uh. All right. Something about Monday. Butterflies don't take taken care of on Mondays. Um. <clears throat> I want to say I need to go this way, but the butterflies are over here. Let's go that way, I guess. Wait, there's butterflies over here too. Something about Mondays. I'm very confused. Let's go this way. Hmm. Well. The fuck? That says. Um. <clears throat> Guess let's go left again and see what happens. You'll get lost and get taken back to the entrance. Oh, yep. Okay, so let's go left. <coughs> let's go right. Right again. I'm very confused. Oh, okay. If I go forward here, does it just bring me back here just out of curiosity? Oh, this is somewhere different. Lots of fireflies. Which direction should I take? Which direction? a tree here. Oh, I'm back here. Wait, does that mean if I take... Oh boy, I'm lost. 
that takes me back, so where does forward take me? Hmm. It takes me here. What about if I go left? <laughs> this takes me back to the tree stump, right? Yeah. Let's go right. Let's see what happens. And we end up back here again. Let's go right again. Or is this just gonna take me back? To here. Okay, so left takes me to the red man statue. Forward takes me straight to her statue. No, no, it takes me to the tree. I went right last time. Let's go forward. <coughs> <laughs> That takes me back here. <sighs> Let's go to the tree and go left, I guess. Why does the red red man have amber? So if I go forward here, it takes me to the tree. And then if I go left here, what happens? Oh, there's a bunch of mushrooms. Was it Boo who took care of them? Probably. Was it Boo, Was it Boo who took care? It's a different area. I can go forward, right, or left. What do I do? Who takes care of the mushrooms? I don't understand what that means. So let's go forward. And we're back here. <coughs> and now we're back here. Lovely. Okay. Oh, at least I can try different directions. So we go to the tree if we go this way. And then the left. We go to the mushrooms. Right? So I guess let's go right this time. Well, this is somewhere new. Hello, butterflies. Something about Monday. How will I ever get out of here? Um. Oh, I don't. I don't know. Go left. Now I'm back here. I go forward when I see butterflies. Go left when I see fireflies. <coughs> Was it right when I see mushrooms? I kind of want to see what's to the left, though. Oh, I'm just back here. Okay. when I see butterflies. I want to just check out all paths, to be honest. Left for fireflies. Right for mushrooms. Butterflies was forward, right? Well. Oh. Left. 
when I see fireflies. <clears throat> Oh, I guess I made it. All right. <coughs> oh shit. Reality is breaking apart as we see it. Let's do this, Redman. Smith Brown Johnson. These were our neighbors. Oh, yeah? I guess I should go up. Anything else I can click on? Nope. To the elevator. Why did you even make these, Mom? Because I like them. It's not my fault you can't have any. Stop it, you two. Look at my child, Amber. I have the article piece. I made that batch for plants. They smell so good, though. I always get these mundane ones. Oh, fine. Maybe next time you won't get any at all. Would that make them better? Tragic. Can't I just have one? No. Can't I have one? Maybe the allergies have subsided. I read somewhere that can happen. Amber, please. But I want some. He always gets to have some of mine as well, and I can't have any of his. It's not fair. Tell him, tell him. Amber, stop acting like a child. Eat your cookies and eat the banana monster Amber's allergic to bananas? Oh. She ate a banana cookie. What is this place? Oh. That kind of looks like me. It's an empty syringe. <clears throat> I don't like where this is going. Me neither. It's missing a needle. A penifrin? Take it with me. Of course, this is here. Ugh. Oh. Ugh, just. Ugh. It might spill. Oh my god, I can't even look at it. Oh, shit. I should open it first. It worked. The cap is off. Okay, it's done. I just want to get rid of it. I should give it to someone certified. Indeed. Here you go, Mr. Doctor, sir. <sighs> Can we not, though? <clears throat> Oh shit. Oh, it's a door. I really hate hospitals. What is 
is going on? Oh, look who decided to show up. What are you talking about? Show up where? What is this place? You don't recognize this? It kind of looks like that ballet studio mom used to take me to. But you hated it, didn't you? It's not like you would be good at it. You have that feet. Hey, who do you think you are? I'm the real you, by the way. This cute, polite mask you're hiding under, that's not you. You don't know anything about me. Are you kidding? I am you. You're really losing it, aren't you? Talk to yourself much? Shut up. You're not me. You're rude and ugly, and you have fat feet. You spoiled brat. You're a burden to everyone around you. Everyone's always taking care of you so you don't have to think about the consequences. Why are you doing this? I want you to drop that mask you're hiding under. I don't know what. It was all your fault. You and your stupid allergies. Shut up. I see what you're doing. They should lock you up in a glass bell. Shut up. And Ted died because of you. I... Oh, you think I don't know? It was you acting like a little spoiled brat that got him killed. He said it wasn't my fault. Of course he did. He was looking after you like everyone else. Don't you dare talk to me about Ted. He was my best friend. And you got him killed. Stop talking about him. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Stop repeating after me. Stop repeating after me. I said stop. Oh, shit. <laughs> Going up. I'm sorry. Sorry, I won't eat them anymore. You can still make them for Flint if you want. I promise I won't eat them anymore. Yeah, I'm stupid. Mom? Dad, what's going on? Oh shit. Did your apartment burn down? Is that what's up with the arsonist? Oh. What the fuck? It's some kind of apparatus. Indeed it is. Another me. Talk to her, I guess? <coughs> Why are you wearing that? Is that you, Red? Oh. Fine, be like that. There's just all sorts of you, isn't there? You mean all sorts of you. I'm not buying that. I'm nothing like you at all. What do you want? What do I have to do? I have something for you. Is that... Jeez. What is that? Here's the deal. Give me something in return and you get to find out. Quid pro quo, please. Who's under that? Uh-uh. That's, That's not how this works. What do you want? Pick three. Any three. Give them to me. If I do that, will you bring him back? What'll happen to the ones I give you? Talk is cheap, they get to do. What do you want me to do? Pick three, any three, give them to me. I... Poor sweet Millie. They risked a lot for me. He might not be all there, but he is all heart. They risked a... Brian, he was so nice to me. She's such a badass. He watched over me. So I guess it's a trade machine of sorts. It's 
It's locked. I guess, get the keys. Let's try it. Uh, lock shots. I hope you can forgive me. <clears throat> I'm really not okay with this. And Rusty. Is this the last one? I don't think so. Okay. Rusty, rust, brave, selfless, working class robot. Have you got no heart? Millie? Millie? Poor, blind, old Millie? That's what she gets for trying to help you? I guess. And I guess the shop boys. Don't choose the bunnies. Even though they risked their necks for you, they went against King and helped you get into Paper City. This is how you repay them? I'm so sorry, guys. Please forgive me. Give them to me. There, you freak. Pledge them to me and ask mm. in return. You can have all of them. Just bring him back. You monster. Why would you do this? What the fuck? There's nothing there. No. 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 The fuck? She's such a badass. Uh, what the actual hell? It's locked. I do what? Do I leave now? What the hell? Shit is happening. Bitch floor. Let's do this. Oh. <clears throat> oh great, another one. Just go through one of the doors, please. Find an empty spot and stay there. I'll come and check up on you later. I think you got me confused with someone else. What is this place? It's a customer support center. Wait, you're not here for the job? Where did you come from? Like outside oh look at you miss outside i don't appreciate what? your attitude to be honest i'm leaving <sighs> good luck with that there's no leaving this place what do i need to do aren't you the famous world traveler miss outside what do i know i'm just a service provider okay i get it help me i need ugh, customer service have you tried turning it on again turn what on your brain are you making fun of me 
I'll report you. To All who? reports are to be submitted in writing and deposited in an official complaint box. The review could take up to 10 working days. Please be patient and don't hesitate to ask for help in the meantime. And remember, we're only happy if you're happy. Whatever, what do I need to do? You have to find out something. What? There was this old man. He used to live alone in our building on Whitewater. Remember back in the city? Remember? I guess. I can't remember his name, though. Uh, Wasn't it Mr. Stevens? No, I don't think so. Peters? Was it Mr. Peters? No, I don't think so. Mr. White? Wasn't it Mr. White? I don't think so. <laughs> Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember either. Anyways, find out what happened to him. How? Ask around. I can't hold your hand. Fine. After I find out, I'm out of here. Sure. I, okay. Just give up, kitty. That's terrible. I guess let's go in here. Oh. Okay. You know what? Things are getting fucking weird. I'm going to end that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet signing out. Bye.